What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Eric and today we're going to be reviewing Dial of Destiny. This will be a non-spoiler review. This is obviously the new Indiana Jones movie. I've reviewed all the movies in the franchise building up to this movie. My expectations were very low. I see thumbnails all over the place. Garbage, dumpster fire, terrible. I don't trust modern Lucasfilm or Disney for that matter. So I went in with very low expectations. I would say overall, it exceeded those expectations. It was not a dumpster fire completely. I thought it was fairly entertaining, quite action filled. And overall, it doesn't come across as terrible as Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, you don't have to think too deep to watch it and be like, what the hell is going on? Like, this is kind of weird. This looks strange. I think the cinematography is better in Dial of Destiny. The action might even be a little bit better. And overall, it just comes across as a better movie, not quite as silly and ridiculous. That being said, there are problems with the movie for sure. Quite a few, actually. But again, it takes a little more of a deeper look into the movie to maybe notice them. Some of them you'll notice no matter what. There are a couple of decisions that are just terrible. And that's all there is to it. Terrible decisions in this movie. But it actually kicks off pretty strong with the flashback scene, 15, 20 minutes long. It's awesome. Really did enjoy the opening 20 minutes or so. Blows Crystal Skulls opening out of the water. No prairie dogs. I mean, it was just kick-ass, just classic indie. But then we jump ahead to the modern story. And again, of course, we know what Disney does with classic Harrison Ford characters. Now it's the broken down old man. We're dealing with an 80-year-old Harrison Ford. In the film, Indiana Jones is 70 years old. And he is just, um, he's an old man, you know. And so they build a story around his goddaughter. The problem with the goddaughter I don't know if we're supposed to like her or what, but we definitely do not. She is borderline sociopathic. She's terrible. She's a horrible human being. An absolutely terrible human being. I'll get into some of the things that she does in the spoiler review. But all I can say is, I despised this character to the point that there was no redemption and I never really ended up liking her, ever, if I was supposed to. I don't even know. Sometimes Disney, Lucasfilm, they think strong female characters are just, well, bitches, for lack of a better word. Okay, that's what they think they are, you know, and, and I don't understand that. I'm not sure if that's what's going on here or if it was supposed to be more of an arc where she started out a little more of a greedy type, kind of like early Indiana Jones, except early Indiana Jones was still not a horrible human being. He was never a horrible human being, never a sociopath. Okay, so I, I don't get that direction couldn't stand her and Harrison Ford's not your typical Indiana Jones he's old broken down we jump this, this movie takes place in 1969 there are themes introduced that are really weird for an Indiana Jones movie but I get it it's 1969 so I mean we have guns with silencers in this movie we have CIA things going on but that stuff is just and even a character looks like uh, that she's going to be in, in te integral to the plot but, you know, I, I don't do a whole lot with these things. That's all I can say. They kind of just go away suddenly. It's like, oh, I thought that was going to be a main part of the movie. It didn't really fit into Indiana Jones movie, but it was there and it seemed like it was going to be important. Um, but no, it wasn't important. It just went away. So you have that. A new short round type introduced, except he's not funny and doesn't really try to be. In fact, this movie doesn't try to be funny. There is no comedy in this movie. If, it, if there is comedy attempted... It's so bad, I can't even tell they're trying to be funny. I couldn't tell there was any attempts at humor. I think there might have been here and there, but it was so unfunny that I didn't laugh. Now, I know that you know a movie doesn't have to be funny to be good, but this is part of a franchise that has always been funny. Now, I, I got to give a little shout out, a little respect to the filmmakers. Maybe they were like, dude, we're not funny. We don't know how to be funny. We're not even going to try. So maybe it was a situation like that, but there was really very, very few attempts at comedy. And when there was, it wasn't funny. Uh, so, I mean, compare that to like Last Crusade, which is just hilarious. And of course, the, all three of the early movies are very funny movies. You get 10 plus good hard laughs throughout. This one, there's zero laughs. So I just do have to be honest there. That's kind of a criticism for an Indiana Jones movie. It's not funny at all. 
and you have opportunity for comedy, this day and age, though, movies try to put too much comedy, it's not funny. So I kind of don't mind that they didn't go for it, but it's just like kind of strange for Indiana Jones movie to not be funny at all. But maybe they did try and they just were so bad, I couldn't even tell they were trying. But again, the action is not bad. There's some good action in this movie. And Harrison Ford is fantastic in the film. There are some characters who come back who I didn't even know because I tried to stay away from spoilers, so I'm not going to mention them in case you don't know. But there are characters from previous movies that come back. But there are just decisions in this movie, multiple decisions that are baffling and terrible. When you look at it as an entire product, is it worse than Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Having just watched Kingdom of the Crystal Skull and just watched this one, I, I think I'm leaning that this one's slightly better. There are things I like about it. There are aspects to it that I think others may not like that I actually did like. Some of the supernatural stuff and the elements. There are questions about, wait a minute, that doesn't really work. That doesn't make sense. There are things that don't make sense, but there are things that I really liked about it. I thought were pretty cool, things that we don't get in any other movies. Overall, which one would I rather watch in the future? I think Dial of Destiny. I'd have to rewatch both of these movies again a few times. And really, over the years, I, I think I would have a full understanding of which I like better, which means they're kind of close. Which is not a great thing for Dial of Destiny. I think it's slightly better. I think it beats out Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but not by a lot. Not by a lot. So when I watch this movie, overall, my score for it is going to be slightly better. But there, uh, when I say see it if you're bored, it's the same thing as Crystal Skull. I can't say it's good. I can't say it's trash. But I can only say see it if you're bored and that's really where i'm at with this movie I, I can't say much better for it there's plot points characters that get disposed of and what the heck happened there the ending choices could have been worse but not by much pretty terrible decisions and it's not funny and i couldn't i despised the main character other than harrison ford's indiana jones despised her she's horrible she's terrible that's what I can say about it. But is it like obviously terrible and you see things like a bloated CGI? There's CGI all over the place, of course. But is it as bloated and as terrible and in your face as Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? I'd say no. Um, is it is cinematography looks better? Is it as, as glossy and, and, and distracting? I'd say no. So it's weird because both movies have flaws, but different flaws. It's hard to say which is worse overall, but I think this one's slightly better. But let me know what you think down below. That's after one watch, and I'll have some spoiler thoughts, and I'm going to have a lot of problems to talk about, and a lot of things I'll, I'll praise as well. But overall, see it if you're bored, ladies and gents. Let me know what you think down below, and we'll talk to you next time.